Hey, what's up, YouTubers? The Polish Piper Nick here. How is everybody doing tonight? I hope well, because I am well. Just want to give a, I guess, uh, a middle of the week update. Today is Wednesday, the 8th of January, 2014. Hope everybody's having a good New Year so far. I guess I am um, um, bettering my health. Me and my wife are at the same time, so we're both helping each other out. And it's lighter again. Every time I start recording a video, this Zycar, yes, Zycar, if you're seeing this, what the freaking hell? This I had I had a Zycar cigar lighter that just acted like crap, and now this pipe lighter. Screw this shit. Okay, yeah, shut up. Matches. And I'm gonna show show off a very special tamper because I get teased about not showing it enough or using it enough. The check tool, forget about it. Tonight, it's all about The steel hand granate tamper. If you're a World War II uh, history buff, you'll, you will know what this is by looking at it. It's a German uh, hand grenade. This was made custom for me by none other than Jason McNary or Mr. JMCN123. This is what it says on the uh, actual grenade. Vor, vor Gebrauch Sprengkapsel Einsetzen. Usually at the bottom here, you pull on it and toss it. But over here, this will be a tam end, like so. And un unscrew it. A pick, an aerator. If your tobacco is a little too tight, you can poke it some holes in it. Get some air hole going. So I'm using that now. First one ever made, you'll never have one exactly like this. So, haha, <laughs> take that. And, uh, yeah, so, middle of the week, I worked today, had a good day at work. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything unusual or funny happened at work today? Um,. No, not really, but we were shorthanded like we are every freaking day because my boss doesn't want to hire people and she doesn't even know how to work the damn schedule and schedule people correctly. Oh, one of my, one of the patients I picked up today, I never say what location, the patient's name, never talk about specific medical history, but I will say something. He, we were picking him up from the nursing home to uh, bring him to the hospital to get evaluated in the ER and then admitted to the floor. So that he can have surgery done. What kind? 
surgery on his testicles. That's it. I didn't want to know why. So I just took him there and that's it. So we were trying to get him on the stretcher from the wheelchair and he got up with help. He can walk a little bit, but um, then he sat down on our stretcher. Then he was just having a hard time kicking his legs up onto the stretcher. So I was like, you know what? Let me try something out. I put my arm under his back, under his legs, and I tried to hoist him on there. And what I uh, happened to be doing was I lifted him up, but he started screaming in pain because I was crushing his testicles with my forearm as I was holding him up. So I was like, all right, I let him down and all was good. So, so I don't know if he's losing his balls or what, but the best of luck and health to him. So, that was one of the highlights of my day. And um, nothing really else funny happened at work. Oh, and we were talking with the patient before leaving. And um, my partner goes and asks the patient, uh, what's your nationality? Where are you from? And the patient says, like, Cuba. So he's speaking in Spanish. He says, Cuba. And my partner's like, oh, oh, Cuba, Cuba. Uh, Fidel Castro, Castro. And the patient's like, ugh. Fidel Castro, maricón, maricón. Yeah, you guys find out the translation, or I know most of you will know what that means. And then I got my, and then I got the patient calling my partner a maricón towards the end of the ship. So, uh, and it, it, the work they ended on a good note. So, go oh, tonight. I'm smoking some villager. 1888 midday this is fantastic tobacco whoop hold on in view it's got some cab black cavendish burley orient some virginia's vanilla and some other exotic fruits and I, i'm telling you give villager 1888 midday a try i know i don't think i don't think that many people smoke it but i really like it I'm in love with the aroma. I bought this when I was in North Carolina in May. And this has just been sitting in my cellar. And I was like, you know, let me dig it up tonight. And I absolutely love the way it smokes. Cool. And no tongue bite. Well, for me at least. And it's got a nice, very nice pleasant aroma. So, there. I just did a tobacco review for you all. So, nothing else, I guess, I keep saying that, nothing else going on. Um, today, no, not today, um, I managed to get off on Saturday from work. Yes, yeah, so I got to work a double Friday night, work all day Friday, all day Friday night, and set, get off Saturday morning, 7 a.m. As soon as I'm done, I got to hurry up, go back home here to the apartment, shower, and change into my camo because I'm going freaking hunting. Camo, Under Armour. Yeah, I got the rest of my uh, camo hunting gear in. I got my bib, uh, coverall, whatever you want to call it, in. I already got the boots, I got a jacket, I got shooting gloves, all camo. I'm getting a coyote collar in tomorrow, or a predator collar. Um, what else? And I'm getting a hunting uh, camo mask, in, but that, I'm, that's most likely not going to be here by the time I go hunting Saturday. So, so uh yeah, and I'm going hunting Saturday with my good buddy, Dan. Uh, he was on YouTube as uh, Pipe Smoke, but he took it down uh, because it was just too much. You're just busy working all the time, and uh, the guy just had just had a busy schedule. So, uh, 
he had to take his channel down. I don't, I don't know, uh, slam him for that. So we'll be going out hunting. I'll be sure to shoot a video. We'll be hunting uh, fox, coyote, and squirrel. And hopefully we'll shoot some, uh, well, obviously all of those. A couple of squirrel, because we we have a five squirrel uh, bag limit per day. And shoot them, shoot them up. Not going to keep the hide off the squirrel, just the meat. Uh, we'll keep the hide off of the uh, coyote and the fox, and we're going to try and uh, tan it somehow. Um, we're heard with salt, but with if you use salt, I was he told me that that tends to make the hide more rigid and not not really pliable. So we're going to try the uh, tanning the hide with the brain of the animal boiling it in water and the brain itself and tanning it somehow that way because that's what he told me he heard you can do so so yeah that's what we're going to do hunting saturday i'm really excited it'll be my first hunt and um uh, yeah got the day off it's forecasted to rain but uh uh i don't think nature takes a break from the rain they're going to go out get their food Saturday morning whenever it rains and uh I'm gonna be out there with my gun and my friend and we're gonna harvest some meat so yeah nothing really else nothing much else so uh, to all you guys who are gun enthusiasts bye gotten a mail recently a holster from my Glock 19 let me show you how cool this thing is it's a Black Hawk Serpa concealment here it is gun goes in here it's got the button on the side that you depress as you're taking a gun out the paddle the hip paddle so it, it conforms to your hip very comfortably let me show you how this thing works. Got my gun here. Glock 19, 9mm, third generation. You can see, magazine is empty. Check that out. Empty. Uh, empty. It's all empty, so put it back in. Everything's empty. Now, so it works. Insert it through here. Push it in. It locks. So as long as the, the paddle uh, is secured nicely to your hip, if somebody tries to, uh, for example, God forbid, rip the gun off your hip they can't do it so when you're withdrawing your gun it's your hand here depress as you're taken out and perfect and your finger is in perfect position it's in the safe position off the trigger so it's not like a mishap is going to happen when you depress it and your finger is going to slip in here and pull on the trigger let me show you again hand here like you're going to withdraw depress Pull the gun out. See that? Perfect. Let me put this away. Another safety check. Empty. Nothing in there. Full beans. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my uh, midday ramble. Update, chit chat, whatever it is. Um, uh, yeah, I'm like so behind on watching everybody's videos. Uh, just busy as heck. Congrats to uh, Brian Kelly on surpassing 100. There's a couple more contests I want to enter. Uh, Logan Myers, uh, I got to get into that one. Uh, Cisco, I want to get into his. It's just 
I get home from a long, hard day's work, and I'm just, like, so exhausted. I don't know. I just want to just chill out, relax, sit down, have a pipe or a cigar. And, yeah. So, my wife just texted me, and uh, she's home now. She's parking the car, and I'm going to get going. So, uh, yeah, guys. Good seeing you again. Good talking to you. Try this out. Villager 1888 Midday. It's fantastic. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the pipe I'm smoking it in. This is a Parker pipe. It's in a state that I got off of eBay. Essentially a Dunhill second. And I got it restored by Rick Farah of Briarville.com. So he made it look so nice that I'm just calling it a Dunhill. Alright, so everybody have a good night. Be safe out there. I'm stealing that line from Brian Kelly. Stay safe.